John, um, good morning to you. It's actually afternoon. You're standing here in front of Tor Torquay Town Hall and you're protesting exactly what, please? We're protesting today, Max, about the um, non-payment of £50,000 worth of rent on the site, which was the high flyer site on the seafront. The balloon. The yeah. balloon, yeah, the big Excellent. balloon. We believe that uh, there's an injustice going on. Um, Nick Bai initiated it. And he, he was the former mayor. He was the former yeah. mayor. Um, and this has been followed up by Gordon Oliver. Who have not, not been interested, as far as we can see, in claiming back this money for the people at Torbay. £50,000, as you well know, Max, is probably about 50 years' worth of council tax. Um, also, you know, I'm going to mind having a business £50,000 rent free. We're calling today for a full inquiry by the man. Is it, is it fully known who this company was? This guy called L Lindstrom and his company. He's friends with Richard Branson. He's a wealthy man. He could easily afford £50,000 that was taken effectively off the people of Torbay. And we argue that he should be giving it back. So we think this is an injustice in the people of Torbay today. Did, did you actually go for a ride on the balloon when it was here? No, I didn't. It was far too expensive. Now, how much was it? As a uh, that's £14 for an adult. Excellent. Now that's a couple of minutes, I suppose. Uh, yeah. Six or seven minutes, yeah. Yeah, and, and the balloon has since uh, blown down, we, we understand. The balloon got blown down in a, um, in a uh, in high wind conditions, yes. And yeah. was there some kind of insurance payout? On, on that I, do one? Believe, I do believe there was, Max. You've probably got more information on that. No, I, I know one, nothing. But I, I would imagine it would have been um, well insured anyway. I see. Oh, yeah, I suppose uh, the idea must have come through not only Nick Bai, but I suppose it must have been through the council of officials as well. Obviously, this would have been a. Um, I mean, did the people? What I'm asking is, did the people of Torbay actually ask for it? No, the people of Torbay. It was seen as a business initiative. Okay, by by the. Well, I imagine the CEO of Torbay Council, including the um, the council itself, would have initiated this whole thing. Who, of course, is, is retiring this year, I believe, the CEO, is she? Sure, I don't know if she's retiring, she's resigned. She's resigned? Uh -huh. do, you, do you happen to know she's getting a payout? So I believe so, um, £125,000 possibly, a year's salary at least. Nice, if you can get that the That will be on top of the, um, the perks of the job as well, pension. And that bonuses should include for this year's work. So, so I, I take it that you, you don't really want the balloon back? Um, well, I don't mind the balloon being back. It's just payment of the rent that I'm interested in. <laughs> okay. you know, any, any business in initiative that brings people to Torbay is, is to be welcomed and to um, be encouraged. But, you know, I'd quite happily set up a business if I was guaranteed £50,000 rent free, as I'm sure most of us here would. <laughs> Wouldn't we all? Well, what's the official council position on it then? Well, the official council, they don't really have an official council position as far as I can see, although we've got a member here of the council and may be able to put them in the picture later. Um, the mayor has said that there's an inquiry going ahead, of which, of course, nobody's heard head and the tail, on, and it just seems to be dragging on a bit too long. This will be an independent inquiry, I presume? No, this is, a ah. this is within the council ah. itself, headed by the mayor himself, I'd imagine. Um, have there been any freedom of information? Inquiries on this? Um, Torbay TV well, may well know that issue, but um, I don't know at the moment. Okay. Thank you very much, John. We let you carry on with your, with your protest. Thank you very much. Councillor Darren Cowell, um, wonder, can you tell us if there have been any results from any of the, the, the internal inquiries about, about the balloon? So far there have been no inquiries um, because it's all subject to the legal process. Um, the legal process is stuck within lawyers of councils insurers 
um, and uh, Lindstrom. <laughs> That's very interesting. So it, it's basically being kept in house between well, this being treated really as a corporate yeah. uh, I mean, the contract. It's not really anything to do with the people at all. No, I think the, the reality is, is that the people, um, you know, the council officers have been trying to push for a resolution. And because of the nature of the dispute, we're waiting for information to come back from Lindstrand, the balloon operators, um, who are dragging their feet because they need to substantiate their claim against the council. So it's up to Lindstrand to do that. And of course, the longer it goes on, the less, less likely they're actually going to substantiate their claim. The reality is, you know, they haven't got a leg to stand on in my opinion. Um, but I also you know, regrettably think we're not going to see the money either. No, that's terrible. Councillor Cowell, is there, is there a chance that these people will be taken to court? There is a possibility of that, but then the, the cost of litigation could actually exceed the 50000 So you've got to weigh up the, um, you know, the if it's a legitimate uh, court case. I mean, it's morally wrong. Yes. But then if, if it's going to cost the council taxpayers six but sure, figures... But surely, um, surely we will win our case. Well, it depends who you're suing. I mean, you can't sue a bankrupt business. I see. They're going under bankruptcy. Well, because I mean, the, the structure of Lindstrand, if you look at um, their structure through Company's hands, it's yes. very clever. And the Torquay Balloon site was a, a standalone operating company. Right, thank Which you. Which showed a loss in its accounts. I think that's interesting information for people to know. <laughs> very good. Can, uh, have you any advice for, for well, your constituents and the people of Tor Torbay as to how we can bring this more to the attention of? public officials, the, the, the anger that is obviously being displayed here. Yeah, I mean, there's been an ongoing uh, sense of frustration and anger on this issue, um, and I think events like today help keep it in the public eye. Uh, questions have been asked uh, at the council, um, and it's a case of constantly chipping away, and uh, you know, if we can get stuff into the media and on the web, then that's the way we can keep the pressure up. I'm just, right, con just, just, just concerned about, when you say they've, got, they've gone bankrupt this company, when, when the council originally did business with this company, did it realise it might have this kind of, you know, there might be some, well, let's call it dodgy kind of business. I think... Um, did the council have any idea? I mean, was it, uh, who was this? this Elizabeth Rakes um, and Nicholas Bai? Yeah, you? I mean, they, they would have been uh, running Torbay at the time. But, I mean, <laughs> what due diligence was done on the business, I mean, I can't comment on. Yes, um, I mean, that's an interesting You, you one, have right? to assume that it was. So do you think this kind of business is still going on in other forms, or is this something, just a one-off? I think this is unique to Torbay. It's unique to Torbay? Yeah, I mean, we it's think always nice to be special, but I mean, not necessary in this way. What, so other businesses might be carrying on with taxpayers' money at this present time with businesses that we cannot even sue because it wouldn't be worth our while if it went wrong? I don't necessarily believe that, to be honest. I think right. um, the, uh, the balloon issue um, is very much focused just on that one technical dispute between the uh, council and the operator and they've actually said at the beginning of their uh, 2011 account yeah. that the um, operational success of it had been impacted by the weather so they they were actually admitting in their own accounts that the problem was with the weather not necessarily any other technical oh, that's dispute right. it's an act of god then <laughs> yes that's right <laughs> well, thank you very much you're welcome. welcome thank you oh, yeah.